Good morning, guys. Yeah, gloomy day out here. Hey, yeah, looks Dodge Coin. <laughs> the Shinu dog, Dodge Coin dog. Morning, everybody. What a gloomy day. How'd you guys do today trading? Markets are pretty slow. Large caps are dying. Pumpers and scammers are out in force. Meanwhile, we're doing the same things over and over every day at MIC. Hey, look, another cute little duck. It's like all of these people are scared of me. <laughs> Got their mask on. I'm the guy with no mask on. Markets are slow, but there's still opportunities, guys. How'd you guys do? We guys trade. These type of markets are nail and bell. You overstay too long, you know, now go is gonna eat you up. Is Alex here? Just making sure. I didn't see him join yet. Yeah, baby. Someone watched the watch list and made money off the watch list. The MIC watch list pays for itself. I cannot. I mean, dude, people say they cannot afford MIC. We put out watch lists that one of those trades pays for your MIC membership. And we have that watch list every single day, and that's what we trade off, guys. If you want alerts, that's the closest thing to alerts, man. That's better than alert. We give you the mindset. We give you the lines. We give you where to enter. We give you the reason to enter. I don't know what else. The only difference, with, the only thing that we're lacking is we're not there pushing the buttons for you. So I don't understand what people are failing to understand. I mean, this alerts thing. I mean, you're chasing stuff on the fly, guys. Okay? So let me let me do a real quick rant on the alerts. The alerts, what happens is this. The guys are alerting you. It's in the position well before they alert. A lot of the times, they're telling their friends before they tell you. So it's a tier, a hierarchy of who to tell them. So as an alert, what happens is they they tell their they load up first, and then they tell their friends, and then they tell you. And even though you're a paying member of the chat room, you're last to know, man. Whereas a watch list that we put out, this I hate using that term watch list because everyone puts a watch list as a bunch of tickers. That's not what we do. We give you trading plans, so that's what we should call. You know, so our watch list is actually a detailed trading plan. We tell you where to enter, what the mindset is, and all that stuff is. Well before it comes. This is beyond alerts. This is better than alerts. We are giving you the alert before it alerts, right? So we are basically giving you the alert before it actually happens. So everybody has a fair shot at making money. So that's the thing that maybe we should promote, Alex. People want alerts? We have alerts, actually, man. We have the better than alerts. We have a pre-alert. Our, what we call a watch list, it's not just a bunch of tickers, guys. It's a detailed trading plan. It is the pre-alert of the alert. And the guys are in MIC see that. So I don't understand what, 
I really don't understand. I, get, I think people are just lazy. Even if we tell you what you need to do, what's going to happen is this. A lot of people have FOMO. They will enter a position well before they should. And they lose. And they go, oh, it sucks. But the watch list says to enter here. But then you enter 50 cents or too early. I don't understand. So that's, that's the problem. The problem is a lot of people don't have the discipline. And that's what they call FOMO, fear of missing out. And that's what kills a lot of traders. Chasing, chasing, FOMO. I don't want to miss out. I want to miss out. Which leads to the current, uh, cryptocurrency issue, okay? So that's why I asked today, like, what a good topic is. And everyone's asking about crypto, dude. Everybody's talking about crypto. But before I talk about crypto, now you understand we do have alerts. We have a better thing. We have a pre-alert. You know, we have the most fair alert you can possibly get. A trading plan. Watch list. I think I lost some weight. I've been, I've been trying to exercise. I still eat like a pig though, but <laughs> um, I feel great, guys. So now you guys understand about MIC. We actually have alerts. We just call it differently. A trading plan It's better than alerts, guys. It's a pre-alert. Everyone has a fair shot at making money, and traders are making money. So who's in MIC right now? Raise your hand and say, did you check? How good is the watch list daily? Just make a comment, and then we'll continue from there, because I want everybody to know. You know, this watch list is no joke, guys. This is the stuff that we trade on. And better than that, we show you our trading charts. So you see we are actually trading real time without sheep, without pumps, without needing anything. And we screw up too. We're human. So it's not like we have perfect charts, but we still make money. I am I actually made, I think I've only had two red days in the past three months. Knock on wood, I just fucking probably jinxed myself. Fuck. <laughs> Following the MIC process. When I lose is when I think I, I need to make more money. That's the, that's the time I lose. I lose when I come in with an arbitrary number. So like, let's say I'm, making, I'm up like $8,000 for the day, right? I'm like, shit, I, I wanna make 10,000. It's like human nature, like kinda cap it off at a round number. And what happens is, fuck man, you're trying to go for 10,000, you end up losing $4,000 back. Something stupid like that, right guys? So we always say trade, people say trade what, what the market gives you. I say really trade what your process gives you. If you want to make more money, then to tomorrow, you can size up a little bit on your process. But do not deviate from your plan. Do not deviate from your process thinking you should make money. Okay, so let's talk about topic real quick, guys. Topic is crypto or stocks. I don't want to talk about crypto too much. The reason why is this, guys. I've been trading penny stocks that's how I started trading. I was the king of penny stocks. I made my name and made my fortune off penny stocks. And I did quite well. They were all pump and dump. They're worthless pieces of shit. There might be one or two companies or three companies in my entire existence that turned out to be big company. One of them was like True Religion. It was a penny stock and then all the whole shit. True Religion became a real G. Because back then, just remember, this is like 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago. It was like, who the fuck is going to pay $200 for a pair of jeans? Well, True Religion fucking started the trend of $200 jeans. And True Religion became a real company. Went from pennies to dollars. And like, holy shit. You know, it was right. So there's very rare instances. Most of the time, penny stocks are pumps and dumps. They pay promoters to pump. Because what happens, these penny stocks, the insiders get paid off of stock. And they print more paper, more shares. And this is the same thing with current cryptocurrency right now. All these companies are creating their own crypto. They're creating their own coin. These companies, who the fuck are these companies? They're creating billions of coins, billions of dollars of coins out of thin air. And what happens is this, they're all pumped and dumped. Whoever gets in early, who's ever a celebrity. So right now they're using celebrities to pump. And they're genius because you know what, man? These celebrities are pumping for free. Back in the day, they had to pay promoters to pump. So, a lot of these, most of these cryptos, shit coins, all coins, dump, douche coins, whatever you want to call it, they're all pumps and dumps, like Dogecoin. Dogecoin started as a joke, but then Elon Musk got on. I'm like, dude, I, 
I don't know the legalities of this, man. Maybe in three years, everyone's going to be arrested for pumping that shit. Because, I mean, there's this is straight up. If they pumped a penny stock, Elon Musk pumped a penny stock on the bulletin board exchange of stock and equity. And the SEC went all over his ass for pumping. Now he's pumping legally Bitcoin and pumping... Bitcoin might be okay because it's a larger float. But Dogecoin and 0002 at the time or some shit below a penny? That gotta be cannot be legal. Otherwise, they'll be pumping all sorts of penny stocks. So I don't know the legality, but the fact is it mirrors exactly fucking penny stock crap back when I didn't. The Wolf of Wall Street days, guys. The Wolf of Wall Street got sent to prison. Now he becomes a, some sort of icon after the movie, but people don't understand, man. That guy, motherfucker, he, he bankrupt a lot of retirement people. Your grandma, your granddad, your fucking mom, your dad. He took their fucking money to live a lifestyle on a yacht. So I don't give a fuck what people say, whatever it is, man. I don't know why people worship me, this guy. I mean, I don't know the guy, but dude, the dumb fucks today, they have no clue. You imagine losing your life savings to a pump and dump scam. That's what's going on right now in the crypto world. And hey, it's not my fucking thing to do whatever. So crypto or stocks? Crypto, right now, everything's going to the moon. Because it's fucking one penny. People got $200 to dump it in. Oh, I'm fucking up. I'm rich. I'm up a fucking $1,000. You ain't rich. You're up a $1,000. You ain't fucking rich, bitch. You just made a fucking $1,000 that you're going to put into another shit coin and you're going to lose all your money. You know what okay? So if you're making money in crypto, that is awesome. I congratulate you. That is fucking awesome, man. But what you need to do is take some of that money and educate yourself. Imagine if you knew what the fuck you were doing. You can make 10 times more trading crypto. You can trade whatever the fuck you want. Beanie babies. Fucking Pokemon cards. You can trade fucking drugs. I don't give a fuck. It's all the same. Trading is trading. Take some of that fucking money and educate yourself so you don't lose it back. Making money is not hard, guys. It's keeping the fucking money that's hard. How many of these fucking guys become rich overnight or on paper, but then go broke? So take the fucking money out. Take the fucking money out. Some of it. Pay your fucking bills. Reinvest some of it back in crypto if you want. Take some and join MIC, for instance. Educate yourself, man. Because when the fucking hype is over, you'll be left holding the fucking bag. And you'll be wondering what the fuck's going on. Eventually, they're going to regulate just like penny stocks. Man, I made so much money off penny stocks. You guys no fucking clue, guys. This was 15, 20 years ago when a million dollars was a shitload of money. These kids are making millions of dollars on Bitcoins right now. You imagine the inflation back then, million dollars. That's like you put with like five or ten million today, right? I did that in like fucking four hours. So, I mean, I want to say anything, but... You can, your kids can do what the fuck you want to do. I've seen the big money. It doesn't really impress me. I just know that the moment penny stocks got regulated, the moment the Wolf of Wall Street got caught, my that whole industry died. Penny stocks died. I had to transition into NASDAQ, into you know large caps, into small caps, into outside of pink sheets. So what I did was I knew... I educated myself on how to properly trade. I was the guy that was trading without pumps, without sheep. Okay? I knew how to trade. So, therefore, this is why I am here today. All the guys back in the penny stock days, they think they're big shots. All they would all they did was pumps and dumps. Most of them went to prison. The others went bankrupt because they didn't know how to trade. They didn't know how to transition out into Nasdaq. And here I am today. I am still doing the same thing I've always done, guys. Helping people, educating people, making money for myself, knock on wood. I'm still doing the same exact thing I've always done. That's because I educated myself. I took out my money. I fucking paid off my bills. Bought some fucking investment vehicles, properties, whatever the fuck it may be. Invest in other people. Here I am today. That's what you should do with crypto. Crypto is a scam. Most cryptos are a scam. You don't even pay taxes on it, guys. One day the fucking IRS can come and fucking knock on your door. You're going to be sitting around with millions of dollars of fucking crypto. And then claim zero income tax? You're fucked. You don't think they know? I'll give you an example, guys. 
I made a lot of fucking money trading stocks. Then I moved from California to New York City. And then what happened was I lived in New York for eight years. Eight fucking years. When I stepped foot back in California visiting my fucking family. Knock on my fucking house. Dude, I had a $2 million house like 15 years ago. Think about that. That's a lot of money. $2 million 15 years ago. For our fucking house, right? Knock on the door. We are here from the IRS. My fucking heart. I was like, oh, almost had a fucking heart attack, guys. I'm not shitting you. The IRS came knocking on my fucking door. The moment I fucking stepped foot in California. Because they knew how much money that I needed to pay the IRS. Remember, this is 15 years ago. If they can get a fucking million dollars for me 15 years ago, that's a shitload of money. They would be, become... Because, you know, they're always looking for the big score. These guys, remember, these guys are federal workers. They're making fucking 50 grand a year, 80 grand a year. Here I come, Mr. Big Shot, making millions of dollars. And then they all think that we're all scams because we trade stocks. We're all scams, right? So they come and they go, why did they, they, they knocked on my door, guys. Why did you not pay taxes in California for four years? I'm like, what the fuck? I moved, motherfucker. I moved to New York. Prove it. And so I had to go through all the paperwork to show them that I paid taxes in New York City. New York's a rape too. So I was audited. I was fucking dick dug in. I, this is every year, guys. So what? You know what they told me? They told me this. They go, we, we at the RS know exactly how much minimum you need to report. Because we know you're nut. We know how much you got to pay every month. We know your mortgage. So if you live in a $2 million home back then, and you carry a certain amount of mortgage to qualify for the mortgage, you need to make this much income. And if you have cars, if you have any payments to people, all this stuff, they know your fucking bank account, guys. They see the money going in and out of my bank account. That's why they, they have this fucking policy. Know your customers. They're tracking the money that goes in and out. That's why people that use cash, they will kill you if you use cash. They would, because, the only people that are using cash are the money launderers and the drug dealers, things like that. Legit people do not use cash. How the fuck am I paying for a Ferrari in cash? If you do that, you're going to fucking jail. I don't give a fuck what you say. They know exactly what you're spending. If you go to the bank and you take out more than $10,000, you have to fill out a fucking form. I'll give you an example. <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, I went to buy a $20,000 watch. Okay? I went to the fucking thing. I gave him a stack of cash. I just have a, happened to have a stack of $20,000 cash, right? <laughs> I got it legally, of course, right? I trade. And I just took out cash because I wanted to be fucking... I wanted cash. And so I paid in cash for this $20,000 watch. They made me fill out a fucking money laundering form to prove that I fucking had that cash. I made the money. They tracked every fucking cash... Thing, even if you buy okay guys and that's what's gonna happen to these cryptocurrency guys they're gonna have so much fucking money in fucking paper but the IRS who knows you know what right now they're living large because the IRS the government doesn't know how to regulate yet they're fucking doing it right now you don't think they want the fucking revenues so I'm just giving you guys heads up to all you crypto traders right now figure out how to fucking Move that money legally back into your fucking account without fucking going to jail, guys. And the same thing that happened in the penny stock days. All those guys are gone. Who is left from the penny stock days, guys? Me. Not many people. <laughs> there sure was. I went to prison. <laughs> the Wolf of Wall Street guy. That guy made a shitload of money, but I traded all his shit too, man. I traded all his shit. I went long on his shit. And the IRS would fucking have me on redial. I'm not joking, man. They, they call me every fucking month. I testified so many fucking times. Because they wanted me. They thought I was a pump and dump. But I'm clean. They looked into my bank accounts and all that stuff, guys. So, my advice to you on crypto. Congratulations. This is nothing new to me. It's pump and dump. First person gets in. is a celebrity, whoever. Pumps that shit up. If you got into a shit coin. One of those fucking alt coin. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. You can never pump it up. It'll sit there forever. So, my advice if you trade crypto is this, guys. Don't go for the undiscovered bullshit. Ride the ones that are moving. Because these are moving because of the celebrities pumping this. 
the ones that are unknown will never move unless a big influencer pumps it. It's all pump and dump. Meaning this, the coin is worthless by itself. The stock is worthless by itself. They can print more coins. Whoever owns that company, whoever owned that coin, whoever created that coin can print more coins. Just like fucking Dogecoin. Dogecoin, they're printing out billions of shares, billions of stocks. And you know, if you take a look at the wallet of someone, the biggest guy that owns Dogecoin, he just sold a billion billion dollars not even a billion he told a billion dollars with a dogecoin last week a billion dollars it's probably the guy that created dogecoin okay and it may be anonymous but you don't think the irs knows this shit do you don't think the fucking government the government is very smart i'll tell you right now government don't give a fuck about much things you know what they give a fuck about money if you fuck their money they will come and get you this is why the irs has their own division of enforcement okay they serve they anything that deals with the fucking money you can kill someone guys you can you can fucking kill someone like Don King Don King Scarface Al Capone those guys have murdered people but they can't get those guys in prison but they got Al Capone's Mr. Scarface the mafia guy on tax evasion so Scarface let me tell you a story Scarface, his defense was, how the fuck can I report illegal activity? <laughs> they want me to fucking claim income on illegal activity, racketeering, you know, bookie, whatever the fuck. So it's fucking kind of funny, but that's what you see. They go, money laundering. They're always trying to get money laundering for an illegal, for a drug dealer. <laughs> I'm like, uh, so you're supposed to claim that you're selling drugs? So it's kind of like, that is a loophole. That's all that shit, guys. So continue to make your money on crypto. What you do is this, you take the fucking money out along the way. You use the principles that MIC teaches you. You use, you, you take the process that MIC teaches you, apply it to crypto. And that's how you fucking kill it, guys. The guys in crypto right now are diamond hands bullshit. They will hold that motherfucker thinking it will make them fucking a trillionaire. Most will go bankrupt. Maybe... May make a lot of money, but those are the early smart ones that sell. The ones that do not sell, who will hold that shit, like AMC, like GameStop, all those, they went bankrupt. Guys, they margin, they margin, they keep bought more on the way down. They turn a huge winner into a huge loser. So, once again, that's how you fucking kill it. You take the principles from an old school guy like Alex and myself in MIC. You apply that old school stock trading process that's made us millions and millions of dollars across decades, not just one year like some of these fucking newbies. This shit that we teach fucking works. You take that process, you apply it to crypto. Because crypto is nothing different than a stock. Except, to be honest, I should have traded crypto. I would have killed it because I knew what the fuck I was doing. But you know what, man? I'm an old man. I didn't fucking want to try new shit. Plus, I, I dealt with the SEC, the feds, FBI. FBI knocked on my door, guys. They're looking for fucking guys. I'm like, then why'd you trade so much of the stock, Val? I'm like, dude, to make money, motherfucker. How'd you find the stock? With a scanner, motherfucker. They go, why'd you buy so low? Because I'm, I'm good. Why'd you, why did you sell so much of it? Because I bought so much of it low. So, the FBI was on my fucking tail for like a decade. So, I'm so sick of this crypto. I'm so sick of this because I have too much to lose, guys. And I'm making a fine living trading stocks. I make a fine living trading stocks. 7000 a day, 4000 seven to 8000 a day. I mean, it fucking is just, it, it's fine with me. I don't need to be making $100,000 a day trading crypto. If I wanted to do that, I could do that with stocks. Instead, I use my time... Alex uses this time to, to educate you guys. I'm taking a break from my trading right now to walk around, to educate you. This is time consuming, guys. Because you know what, man? I've been doing this so long. My money doesn't really motivate me anymore helping people. So I'm like, how do I help people with crypto? The reason I didn't get into crypto because I don't want to fucking be a pumper. I don't want to be fucking like promoting shit that is back in the day. 
a pump and dump. That's why back in the day in the penny stocks, I really, man, I, I never posted my positions until after hours, guys. Because I mean, I, I was the king of penny stocks. You guys know that. And you never saw me pump anything. I didn't even really share people my strategies until now. Because I didn't want people to be fucking like getting stuck into penny stocks. But if you're trading big boards, I taught Joe Kelly, all the guys at big boards, and they're fucking killing it, big boards. And it's okay to be trading those stocks because those stocks are more legitimate. But if you take our teachings, guys, so take some of the fucking money you made in crypto, join MIC to learn how professional guys like ourselves, like Alex and myself, and the guys at MIC are, are fucking managing the money. The process itself is a million dollar process. We teach you so many fucking rules of trading that because we've lost billions of dollars to come up with these rules. And that's how you kill it, guys. That's how you fucking kill it. Oh, man, that's a lot. Does that make sense, guys? Any questions? I'll take a couple questions. We can, we can easily go crypto because we know we know how to trade. That's, that's the beauty of learning the process. That's the beauty of learning technical analysis. So a lot of the guys, I don't know. What to, so I went to a dinner party with my girlfriend's uh, family. And they're asking me, like, they're trading crypto. <laughs> they got lucky. They made money, right? Who the fuck doesn't make money? Dogecoin and shit. And they're like, is it real bad? Can I buy more? They want to buy more. You know, shit like that. Now they buy this she new shit. They're buying other, like, I'm like, I'm counting how many zeros. I'm like, dude, these crypto. So stocks can only have three zeros in front of it. Crypto has like seven zeros. I'm like, what the fuck? It's crazy. It's like, it's like, they're like, what the fuck? Seven zeros. <laughs> so it's it's beyond like a dollar will buy you like a million shares, shit like that. I was like, what the fuck, right? So, so I'm teaching them technical analysis. I'm teaching them process. I'm teaching them, you know, the three day rule. I'm teaching them the first day, the first red day rule, shit that we teach at MIC, which applies to every asset class, including crypto, guys. Okay, so that is how you fucking trade crypto. You take the knowledge from old school stocks. You apply it to the new age crypto. Because the new age crypto have your grandma. Diamond hands is the best shit for a trader ever. Because I'm not diamond hands. I will fucking rape your ass. Wait, that doesn't sound right, right? <laughs> the, the cost of that, I don't want to rape anybody's ass unless you got a nice peach. <laughs> but no no raping guys no raping ass um, but you get it man diamond hands are dumb I mean most there's only a few stocks that you diamond hand that shit you know, you know what I'm saying so right, we, you know what man even if you left money on the table it means you made money guys you jump from one coin to another coin you just do technical analysis we teach you how to do that we teach you the lines we teach you all that Take the money that you made in crypto. Invest in your education from a guy like myself, from a guy like Alex, from MIC. That's how you kill it, guys. Any questions? Otherwise, I will go back and start trading more stocks because I did not make enough today. <laughs> Alex, you're up? Raise your hand. Maybe I'll bring Alex on. Tell him uh, about the upcoming MIC stuff. Or oh, anybody want to come on? It's been a long time since I brought someone on. You want to come on today? I want to come on. Raise your hand. Let's see if I'm missing anything else here. That's how you make money in crypto, guys. Crypto to me. It's a fucking ultimate scam. It's going to be regulated soon. You better fucking take your money. You better learn how to trade stocks. You better know what the next step is. And all the guys are going to get stuck with it back. Because you know, no one's paying taxes on it, guys. I'm telling you, man. The IRS is going to fucking come. Same thing with stocks. It may not be today. Maybe three years from later, you're going to get a fucking call from the SEC, from the IRS, from their bank. The moment, the moment these dumb fucks start to drive a Lambo, the Lamborghini dealership is going to report that shit to the IRS because it's over 10000 If it's over 10000 Let me see if can go Join MIC, guys. We teach you all this stuff. I'm going to show you how to fucking save on taxes. 
You know what I'm saying? Dogecoin was a hustle, which it is. How the fuck is that doing? It was, it was created as a meme, as a joke. It was created to go to zero. It dil- it auto dilutes every fucking year, billion. Anything else, guys? Who else? Come on, I can bring on someone for like a little bit. You guys want to learn? Ask questions. Take the money that you made off Dogecoin. MIC is only two hundred bucks a month. Fuck, man, how many Dogecoin is that? Barely anything, right, guys? Learn to fucking, at least learn how to manage your Dogecoin by joining MIC. Join MIC to learn how to manage Dogecoin. Try to close the app, Alex, and restart it. Tomorrow, guys, this is what you do. This this is another thing, okay? We're going to have live trading every Wednesday. Oh, actually, tomorrow, uh, Tosh is on vacation, so there's no new member webinar tomorrow. Next week, I guess. So, But tonight is a large cap webinar by Joe Kelly. So, you join, you learn, guys. Okay. A mosey. Who's a mosey? Let's see. I'm just bringing a random person on. It's in a wall. I miss this. I miss meeting random people. And then we'll we'll end it here. I want to bring one person on. We'll end it here. I'm going to bring someone on that has a profile photo. There we go. Hey! No way! What's up, brother? <laughs> what's up, man? What's, uh, what's your name? Tell me your name. Where you from, man? We were on live three months ago. You yes. gave me the free try. How, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? Good, good. I'm just at work right I'm doing my uh, raps right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, remember, hey. brother? You're, you're, <laughs> you're out. Where where you at again? Tell me your name and where you at. Herrick, I'm from Ontario. Yes, that's right. So what yes, happened? Sir. So what happened since then? Dude, amazing things. Found the process, understood it, study, study, study. I'm still working on it, but I can see when I follow the process, it works. The only thing is, it, it's my own personal battle now. Yep, your battle of discipline and greed and FOMO, right? Yeah, exactly. But you know what? I have a good tab buddy that reached out to me. Patrick, um, Freedom Trader on MIC. And, you know, he's been keeping me in check. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, Freedom Trader. He's a good guy. I'm right into him. Uh, hey, what's up, Patrick? I think he's getting married or something, right? Yeah, to uh, Chow. Congrats to him. Yeah, man. That's awesome. I'm glad that you're keeping in touch with your tab from MIC still. So that's the beauty about MIC, man. You make, you make lifelong friendships, bro. It's super cool. You know what? It, uh, it makes a difference. Having a, We were talking and Having a process is like the biggest thing yep. that nobody. T- it works for life too, man. Right? If, if you get your routine going, life is good. That's it, man. But you know what, man? We're humans, man. We like to fuck around and <laughs> do stupid shit sometimes. You know, and you're young. You're good. So let me give you a couple of advice, okay? A couple of pointers. The, sure. the pro- part of the problem is the greed. We don't want to take a winner and we don't want to take a loser. So we have holding fucking shit way too long. So what you should do is I always call this a fantasy order. So I call it, there's two things you got to do part of the process. You have to, before, this all happens before you get in, okay? Before you get in, you have to know where you're going to enter. And then also where you're going to exit for both a loss and a win. And if you keep yeah. those two things dialed in, you are fine. So put in your heart stop, put in your sale for a gain as well. The problem is this, people do not put in their heart stops. And then they fucking go, oh, fuck. When it's time to sell, they're trying to do a mental stop, and it doesn't work. You have – so I keep telling people this. You have to earn the right for a mental stop, which you have not yet. Okay? So you have to use a hard stop. So that's how you prevent yourself from blowing up. And the problem also is not taking gains off the table. You have to yes. take gains when you – even if you leave a ton of money on the table, at least – you're up, bro. <laughs> right? You're up. Try not to listen to the noise with a lot of things. It just, yeah, the process, trusting those lines yep. is a big thing. 
So get back to basics. Go back to small yeah. size. Keep working, bro, because you know what? I tell everybody, don't quit your job. Supplement your income. All you need to do is make three trades a week. Three good trades a week. That's it. Exactly. That's so cool. Hey, plug, plug your business. What are you doing? You working as a car wrap person? Yeah, so I do subcontract installs. I get I get the freedom of going to different places and installing. Tell tell everybody your business where you're at. Maybe pull yourself back. Do it right now. If you're in Ontario, yeah. Canada, <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the public eye. I just do the back end stuff now, and okay. then I just do do the trading on the side until uh, it can supplement it, like you said. That that is awesome to hear, bro. This is some random bro. I just fucking hit clicked on you. I, I go, dude. I remember. I fucking remember. You were, you, were, you, were, you were like shirtless in your house or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were bad or some shit. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm glad that you are following the process and you're, you look like you got your life together. I love it, brother. I love it. You're happy. You're in good shape. Good health. Good spirit. I appreciate you. Thank you for everything and all the moderators too. You know, they, they really help. I got a journey to go. I'm not anywhere where I want to be yet, but it's all out. It's just fitting that now hey hey brother hit up alex and if you're not in there i'll give you a free a free month man get you back started okay so come back. i got no I, uh, I got the annual oh got shit annual. Oh, I believe it's yeah. better, brother. you got the accelerator you, yeah 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 you gave uh tosh hooked me up you gave me the month and then i went through it and i was like no way that i wasted two years looking at everything else i was like what why did i do that oh sweet so you got you got the accelerator you got everything right yeah, I got everything. That's good. I want to hook you up with everything. So, man, you're welcome to all the lifetime events too, brother. All right? So, fucking anytime, yeah. brother. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, I mean, no, keep, keep at it, man. Yes, sir. Awesome, brother. Hey, hey, I'll do one more thing. Because up, up in your area, if, if you want to sponsor a meetup, I will sponsor it. I will pay for yeah. it, pizza, whatever. Hit up, hit up Alex. Create your own training group, Friendship in Ontario. Hey. Okay? <laughs> you know That'll be nice. We're all in lockdown right now. Everybody, everybody's going crazy in Ontario. Okay, but when it, when it, when it opens up, brother, I got you, man. Pizza party on me, brother. Pizza party on me. All right, man. I keep getting back to work. Thanks, Tom. All right, man. Peace. I'll be a log off. <laughs> I don't know either. Do I? Hey. Yeah. All right, guys, that was fucking awesome. That was totally unexpected. I love that shit, man. I was, I was going to give him free membership. But he already, dude, he, I called him up. I gave him a free month trial. He loved it so much. He bought an annual, and now he's fucking, his life is great. So great, guys. That's, that's how you do it, man. That, he made my day, man, fucking seriously. I love this shit. This is why I fucking do this shit every, every single fucking day. When I see a bright smile from the guys like that, oh, my God. No one was there to help me when I started. So, guys, if you make it past the elevator back down, help someone every day. Go help someone, okay? Help someone that, helps, that needs help. All right, guys, I'll see you back in the room.